after graphite electrodes for electrolysis of copper two sulfate solution. Now we replace the graphite electrodes by copper electrodes. And what happened? Okay. Um, the setup is a solution of copper two sulfate with two copper electrodes connected to power supply. Um, for the copper two surface solution, um, it <coughs> provide ions copper two and sulfates. The solution contain water carry out ionization from equal number of hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion. Um, at the negative electrode, the two ions are attracted. Hydrogen ion and copper two ion. And the copper two ion is lower than hydrogen ion in position of ECS. So uh, the copper two ion is a stronger oxidizing agent than copper two and then hydrogen ion. So the copper two ion accept the electrons from copper and the copper is reddish brown so um, the negative electrode is heavier and bigger and coated with brown reddish brown metal It is copper. How about the positive electrode? For the positive electrode, <coughs> we know that uh, the hydroxide ion and the sulfate ion, which are negative and attracted towards to the positive electrode at the at, um, where they both want to lose electrons so the hydroxide ions um, go to the positive electrode they lose four electrons forming oxygen and water the sulfate also uh, want to lose electrons forming um, SO2 and water okay um, I want to find the ECS table Um, ECS table uh, um, on page ECS <clears throat> okay 
chapter 30 the ECS table as you see that the hydroxide ion is a stronger reducing agent than the sulfate and the hydroxide ion lose electrons in a way of forming four electrons and two water and one oxygen however um, the electrodes we use is not graphite and petium. They are both inert. That means they have no reaction in the re uh, they have no does not take part in the reaction. But now we use the copper electrode. Copper also lose electrons. And copper is a stronger reducing agent than the hydroxide ion. As a result, there are three um, things, three substance. I want to lose electron. One is copper, and I, the other one is hydroxide, and the third one is the sulfate. They are all reducing agent and copper is a stronger reducing agent among them so as a result uh, not the anion lose electrons but the copper electron lose electrons forming Cu2 plus the copper metal change to copper 2 ion so what you see is this copper metal gradually getting smaller or it is dissolved and forming copper 2 ion When this equation at negative electro and positive electro combine together, that become like this. The copper at positive electro dissolve to form copper two parts, and the solution copper two ion accept electrons reduce to copper at negative electron so this um the you can say the loss in mass at the positive electron is equal to gain in mass at negative electron So um, the mass loss and the mass gain is equal and the number of copper 2 ion in the solution is constant because number of copper 2 ion loss at the negative electron is equal to the number of copper 2 ion produced at the positive electron so uh, we look at the book uh, page 21 the careful copper 2 ion accept electron forming copper so um the cathode become bigger and at the end now um, there are three substance loose electron copper hydroxide and sulfate ion among them copper is stronger reducing agent so uh, the copper 
dissolved from copper 2 ion. And the cathode is heavier and the anode is smaller. In the solution, the copper 2 ion concentration is remain unchanged. So the blue color intensity also remain unchanged.